What's the difference between HDLs and LDLs and how do you remember that ready for exam day? I'm Hayley, I'm from Parallel Coaching and today we're just going to talk about cholesterol and how do we know the difference between high density lipoproteins and low density lipoproteins and how do you remember which ones are the good in inverted commas and the bad ones ready for exam day and just know a little bit about how they work. So the way to think about this, a nice but easy way to remember the difference is that H for HDL stands for high density lipoproteins and then you can use that same H just remember that they are happy to help. So these are the good ones in inverted commas, they're happy to help. And then our low density lipoproteins are the litter bugs, use the L as the litter bugs. Now I'm going to explain exactly what I mean by that happy to help and the litter bugs now. So. In relation to your arteries, imagine you've got uh, an artery here, this is yours, and you've got blood flow going through it. Remember a minute ago I had the HDLs was in red. So the HDLs are these little red parts and the LDLs are going to be these black parts. Now, in order to give a little bit more picture behind all of this, essentially what a, what a lipoprotein does, whether it's high density or low density is that it is a fat and protein molecule so it's mixed together which means that that cell is going to carry through your blood and it likes to pick up and move around the um, little fats and plaques that we have around our body so the fats and plaques that we take in from our diet etc are then influenced by our hdls and ldls and they take little piggybacks on these HDLs and LDL cholesterol and then that gets carried through our blood and it's a transport system to allow us to move those fats and plaques around the body which is essential and which we need. Now the difference here is that HDLs are happy to help which means that they like to pick up the fats and plaques and move them to areas where we can then export them and get rid of them or use them how we want to. However, litter bugs, the LDLs, are they like to drop these fats and plaques all over our arteries. The way that I like to think about these is if you imagine on a festival, you get lots of people that are all working, that are all having a great time, but they are litter bugs and they leave lots and lots of litter everywhere. And if you've ever seen those pictures of after a festival whereby there's just litter everywhere, that's because they've dropped all of their litter and that's what's happening with the LDLs is if you've got a lot of LDLs in your body you'll leave a lot of fats and plaques around the arteries which can build up and cause atherosclerosis. Now that can only be taken away by these HDLs which are going to come along and sweep it all up. These are like the street cleaners, they're going to sweep away all of this dirty litter that's been left behind and they're happy to help. So they they do their magic but if this ratio isn't correct between the LDLs and the HDLs you can see that if you have too many LDLs you're going to have much bigger amount of fats being built up around the artery compared to if you've got a higher HDL so it's all about the ratio between LDLs and HDLs and that's what we're looking for is a good appropriate ratio between the two so that's my quick guide as to remember the difference between HDLs which are happy to help they're the ones that will clean up your arteries essentially in a nice crude form and then also your LDLs which are the low density lipoproteins and they're the litter bugs they're the ones that drop your fats and plaques all over your arteries and that relates into atherosclerosis and then over time that atherosclerosis can become arteriosclerosis whereby they start to stiffen and the artery starts to become stiff and and form and inflexible which means that you're not able to get as much motion and movement through the artery itself so hdls and ldls both have different jobs but both cholesterol and both are responsible for transporting fats and plaques around the body i hope that's been helpful if it has drop a little comment below and let me know and if you have any other questions please do pop that in as well because it will be amazing for me to do another couple of videos for you I hope you have a great day and best of luck for your exam. Take care.